Hello there YouTube friends! Today I will show you the types of insulating materials we use in armatures. Now, why do we need insulating materials anyway? Well of course to prevent accidental shortage of the coils to the metallic part of the stator or the rotor or end from the wires itself. You may think, hey it's fine the copper wires are coated with thin insulation right? Well yeah. But you can never be safe unless you take precautions. Always remember that in the process of rewinding, there are times that the wires get scratches from the sharp edges of the metal, removing the coat and creating a short circuit. If you do manage to prevent that, the chances of the wire being damaged in operation due to the vibrations are high, leading again to short circuits. And you don't want that to happen. I mean, who would want that? Spending time and effort to fix it and just broke again? Nah. So, armatures already have an insulator. The problem is that if we do try to remove the wires, there are times when the insulation gets damaged and needs replacing. The same goes to the field coils. Almost always, the insulation needs to be replaced as we remove the wires. The materials we use are a plastic, a Miller plastic film, sandpaper, yeah, a sandpaper with fine grit, and a paper, a no mix paper. The Miller plastic, this one here is not used by us, but we do see it in other refurbished armatures. Two reasons for not using it is one, it's plastic, we don't want it on a very hot surface. Two, we make lasting repairs. Sandpaper with grit 600 or finer. It's good in very hot surfaces. It's multi-purpose. I mean, if you don't use it as an insulation, might as well use it to send something. But it is not good in shear stress, so be careful in field coil edges as it may tear. The last one is the no-mix paper. We recommend using this one for its superior quality and reliability for electrical insulation and heat resistance. Period. Let's see them in action using a heat gun. Now I know there is a better way or method in testing these materials, but currently this is all I can do. If you have better ways, please let me know in the comment or send me the link to your video. Thank you! The first one is a regular paper. It is quick to burn and the burnt parts crumble like dust. The second one is the plastic miller. See that it melts, leaving your wire exposed to the metallic surface. You don't want this on your armatures. The third one is the sandpaper. Not as quick to burn as the paper and the burnt parts do not crumble, although it shrinks. The last one is the no mix paper. As you can see, it does resist heat very well. There is little indication of burning. The paper remains stable, also a little crumple. And there you have it, my friends. I recommend using no mix paper for insulation. And if it's not in your market, use a sandpaper instead. 
If you have materials better suited for insulation, then use it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and expect more kinds of these videos.